Hi everybody, Mr. Isaiah here. This week we'll be exploring Romanticism, an art movement which rapidly spread across Europe and the US in the early 19th century. Let's jump right into it. Romanticism had a special focus on human psychology, emotion, and the natural world, which made it very different compared to the popular, very restrained movement of neoclassicism at the time. Some main ideas of Romanticism were freedom, originality, inspiration, and imagination. Other common themes among paintings in this time period were sharing the beauty or power of weather and the natural world. Across the world, from Europe to the USA, artists continue to experiment with more emotional representation. Many, such as Caspar David Friedrich, used plain air painting, which means painting outdoors, to connect humans with nature. His paintings as a romanticist also connected to his writings, like his poetry. He is quoted writing, I have to surrender myself to what encircles me. I have to merge with my clouds and rocks in order to be what I am. I need a solitude in order to communicate with nature. Romanticism isn't just one point in the past, but is the foundation for a lot of art history. For example, the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood was a small British movement which emphasized sincerity and natural truth like Romanticism. Following that was Impressionism, perhaps one of the most important modern painting movements, which had a lot of plain air painting and a focus on simple observation and feeling. The international movement of symbolism followed Impressionism in the late 19th century and shared many traits of Romanticism, such as a focus on emotions and subjectivity over realism. Romanticism as a movement had such a huge impact around the world and throughout art history. Today, let's remember these painters and focus on our emotions and nature. Time to paint! Have fun!